What's up you guys, welcome to the channel. Today is a very exciting day, and literally one of the most exciting tools that I've done in a long time. Um, I'm very excited about this. Echo, new to the channel, yay! Welcome Echo to the channel. Yay! Yep, welcome back. This is their PAS system, dude. This is the PAS 2620. It's a powerhead. Of course, powerheads are not new. Ryobi has them, Ego has them, Steel has them, all the big brands have them. Um, so and basically, the powerhead, in essence, you just you have one motor and you just get different attachments for it, so you're not trying to deal with a bunch of different motors. Right, and this is the X-Series available at Home Depot, and I'm liking that, you guys, because why? Because I've always been an electric guy for like five years now. I hate a gas, because I hate dealing with the two cycle. I hate just Spark loud. plugs, everything yeah, coming up. It's you know? just pain. But the power this thing brings is amazing. So we're going to talk about that. So what I did is I went ahead and bought their fuel that comes with this. It was like $26 a gallon. Um, like a true fuel type thing. Yeah, right? like it was a, all, it's actually gasoline. There's no ethanol in there. Right, right. Because okay. right. I figured I was going to use this a few times and I would use a gallon throughout the summer. Well, little did I know, I mean, I'm going through it like crazy. So I'm going to buy gas station gas. And then at the end of the year, when I feel like I'm done with it, I'm going to put that, that. So is it not good on gas or is it just you've been using it a lot? No, it's good on gas and I have been using it a lot. Gotcha, okay. um, this is available at the Home Depot, you guys, so you can buy this power head. Now, granted, I would not want the blower of this unit. You know what I'm the saying? What? It comes with a blower head too. Oh, it does? Yeah, to put a blower on it. But, oh, wow. you know, to me, you know, I like my ego. I like cordless blowers. It's powerful enough and I'm using it indoors and stuff like that. This being gas, it does emit a loud noise. I mean, I noticed today when I was like uh, going around edging, like my right ear like hurt. You have to definitely wear ear protection for something like this. So do they have like a string trimmer and like a hedger and all sorts, or edger and all yes, that stuff? Yes, yes, okay, they have so. tons of attachments for it. We're gonna go through each video. This is one of my favorite attachments right here. We're gonna do another video on another attachment after we have Eric use it. But uh, this is the Pro Paddle, you guys. Obviously, they're not the first to market with this. There is other brands that have this Pro Paddle, but it's one of the most ingenious, greatest outdoor tools you will ever have if you're a property owner. Eric used it for the first time. What did you think of it? I was impressed. That was pretty cool because I've always I saw you on Instagram using it in the snow. I've seen other things like I think you were over at your dad's house using it or something. But yeah, I'm impressed how much it pushes through. Yeah, it pretty much cleans any area it does. And if you're doing grass, it leaves your grass intact, but it gets out all the pine cones, mm -hmm. all the wood chips that are buried in there. Yeah. I mean, it really does a good job. We were actually edging around things, and when we were edging, we could follow up with this and then shoot all the mm -hmm. uh, edging debris, debris back again. into it. Um, very cool unit, you guys. And like I said, there's different power heads you can get. There's a commercial version that's a, a little more CC than this. I, I think this is around 26 CC or 25 CC. I'm not wrong. Or yes, yeah, it's got to be 26. It's 26. 620. Oh, so I think 26 cc. I'm assuming. Um, easy start, you guys. You know, I've had no problems with it. I just flip on the choke, give it one pull. Hopefully, hit the choke back down on your way back down. If it stalls out, you, then you can start it with the choke off. Um, heavy duty uh, area here, so you can put a strap around your neck, so you can go with it. <laughs> 
Around your shoulder, you mean? <laughs> yeah, right, well, yeah. No, around your neck, around your shoulder. But you know what I'm saying. Yeah. Um, the only thing I did not like about it, you guys, is the handle. I wish it had a quick uh, tightener on it. It's, it's tooled right now, and mm-hmm. it's actually come loose, and it's moving around on me. But when I go between this attachment and the bed edger attachment, I'm not... Uh, oh, like you'd like to move it for balance Yeah, wise. I need yeah, to okay, move it for sense. balancing issues. So um, other than that, you guys, I mean, I took it to my sister's. I've taken it to people's houses. It's just an amazing, amazing thing. Uh, I would like to see this in an electric, to be honest with you, but I guarantee Ooh, I, don't know, yeah. I don't know if you could because that's why you need the gas power yeah. is to move this and push it. And you know what I think this would be awesome at is for if you're grinding a stump, all that stuff you have left over to push it. I think another thing is uh, if you're building a fence, you always take that dirt out. It's always on the grass. Once you, once you put it back around the pole, you always have that little spot there, and that grass always gets ruined or whatever yep. to move that away. So there's definitely a ton of uses for this thing. Yeah. No, it's pretty awesome. And back to that subject of him saying, I wish I had some B-roll, but we didn't do it in time. But there was, we'll have it on Instagram. But Bodie, the tree care guy, says he uses this thing all the time for stump grinding for that exact reason. Because when you're stump Does he grinding... Have this one? Or... Yeah, well, he's got the, the all-in-one. It's just oh, okay. one machine. Like, you can't have the multi-head system. But basically, with it, what he says is, you know, when you're when you're grinding stumps, there's a huge pile that comes up, and you can't see where the actual stump is. So he just goes in, and just shoots the stuff off to the side, and then he's able to uh, get back to work with it. You guys definitely encourage you to check it out. It's at Home Depot. Um, it's just an awesome, amazing machine, and I, I really, honestly, it has excited me to do yard work. It has like brought me back into gas. Um, you know, and with gas, there are some downfalls. Obviously, the sound, obviously buying the gas, obviously dealing with carburetor issues. So that's why I'm going to try to stick with the uh, prepackaged fuels as much as possible, which are expensive though, twenty six dollars a gallon. You know. Yeah, but I mean, you don't run into a lot of the problems then, you know, when it sits around with the, what the ethanol does with the rings and everything right. like that, you know. So before my last thing of the year, I'm, I'm just going to run off straight uh, gas station gas mixed with two stroke oil. And uh, at the end of the season, I will put this in. I'll probably also put stable in it and every one also, which is kind of the same thing. But at the end of the year? No, and every fill up, I'll put stable in it just in case. Do you actually need stable if you're running it that often, like weekly? No, but it helps it. No, it no helps I'm just asking. I don't no, know. you don't. Okay. You don't. But the thing is, is it might sit for a month, and in a month, you know, it might be bit, get bad. It's like that gas station. Was it sitting at that gas station for two months? You know, then you're at that three month mark. Gas is like volatile. It really like the gas is not volatile. Really. It, does, it, wow. it degrades fast. So definitely cool stuff, you guys. Check it out. Tools in Action. Don't forget to go over to Instagram. Definitely one of my favorite tools of 2018. What do you think? Yeah, I think it's actually pretty cool. I like all the different uses for the professional landscaper and all that. I think it's cool. Are we doing thumbs up? Too? Tools thumbs in up Action. Now? For more exciting tool action, go to toolsinaction.com.